was going to be bringing into Alabama's program. Are you surprised with what they've been able to do the last no, two years? No, I mean, I was on the staff uh, that year. We had the recruiting, such a great recruiting year. I knew how hard we worked that year and how relentless we were in recruiting. So when you saw the players stacking up and committing, uh, you know, it's about players. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like fifth grade recess. You know, whoever gets the best team picked is usually going to be pretty good. So, I mean, it's, 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 it's not far off from that. So when I saw the players that we were picking, um, I knew we were going to be good in years to come. Or Alabama's going to be good in years to come. Coach, talk about Greg McElroy and how far he's come since he, since you last saw him. Well, he's, he's done a phenomenal job this year. Those are things that we ex or I expected to see. Um, having seen him in Southlake and see how he operated in, in such a great high school program in Southlake, Texas. And, uh, his familiarity with winning and knowing how to win games and win championships. Uh, I expected him to be a smart guy who could manage the, manage the game, and not turn the football over, get his offense in the right place. It's been exactly what he's done. Talk about his demeanor. They say he's pretty even keel in the huddle. Yeah, he's passionate. Uh, he, he, he's even keel. He's got a good, uh, you know, a, a good voice about him in the huddle. Good presence, and uh, you know, because he prepares well, because he's smart, because he's organized. Uh, you know, he's a picture of poise, and. Uh, not often does he let you know his teammates see him sweat, and that's a big attribute as a quarterback, and he deserves a lot of credit for that because he's faced some tough games this year, LSU, Tennessee, some, some games that were close where he really had to, to, to put that face on there in the third and fourth quarter for his team, and he's done that. When you were at Alabama, a lot of people who were around the program said that you and, and Greg had a, for lack of a better term, a special relationship, that you got each other. Um, is that true, and do you still, have you been able to stay in touch with him at all? You know, I, I've always maintained a level of respect wherever I've gone for the, for the next staff and, and his relationship with the players. So, no, I haven't tried to keep a relationship uh, because that's something that Michael Wayne and Greg have to have. That's not that's not my place. Uh, but I always had a, a spot for you know, Greg in my heart because he was, he was passionate about what he did, and that's the biggest thing as a coach you want is somebody who's passionate about their job. And uh, he loved the game. He was a gym rat. Uh, I used to love going in on Sundays and talking about college highlights I had seen. He had seen them because he stayed up and watched it. Uh, you come in on Monday and you get ready for the next opponent. And you're talking about things you've seen on NFL games, and he can talk about it because he loved the game. And, and that's, that's the way I was as a player. I didn't necessarily have all the tools, but I had to love the game, and I had to want to be a great player, and that's what he had. And so I've always had a special place for him. And, and you know, even though we're playing him, I'm, I'm happy that he's been successful the last 13 games. Did, did you keep up with him in all this season? Absolutely, yeah. For sure, absolutely. What's your thoughts when you when watching Alabama? I mean, are you, you rooting for these guys because you know them so well? Yeah, I mean, there's there's times where you're pulling for them. There's times where you're not pulling for them. I mean, it's like anybody. You know, it's, it's like any other game. Um, you know, but the great thing is when you see coaches. Uh, I was really happy for Burton, uh, although I was extremely sad for Colt. But I was really happy for Burton when Mark won the Heisman. Um, you know, I was happy for certain players, seeing them make certain plays. Uh, happy for Greg that he had a big game in the, in the championship game. Um, you know, so there, there are times where you, where you see those type of things. You see guys make a play, and you're like, oh, man, I'm, I'm Roy Upchurch, a guy who had battled injuries, shoulders, and gone through all kind of things. And now he's getting a chance to play and contribute. So you're happy to see people you know, fight through adversity and things like that and get their opportunity. I mean, that's, that's, that's sports in general. I mean, that's not just Alabama. I mean, that's any, anything. It's a, it's a feel-good story when you see people have success. Are you able to take some pride in that? I mean, you, you played a role in, in what this program, in Alabama's program has, has done the last couple of years. I mean, you know, it's been two years now since I've been there. I don't, I don't credit myself for any of that, but I know that there was a lot of hard work in that first year. There was a foundation laid in recruiting. There was a relentless effort in that, and I know that I was a fraction of that. But, you know, there's a lot of people that had a lot to do with that other than myself, so I'm not foolish in that respect.